like DeepSeek has made a major leap. DeepSeek version 3.2 seemed to have caught up with Gemini 3 Pro and even being out chat GPT 5.1. Check it out. DeepSeek v3.2 is the official successor to v3.2 experimental. As you see in these charts, DeepSeek seems like it has beat out even Gemini 3 Pro with the AIME 2025 and being out ChatGPT consistently in the 2025 and the HL. This is amazing because DeepSeek is an open source model, but not only that, DeepSeek is a model that comes from China. These are two restrictions and limitations that kind of hold DeepSeek back, but not only DeepSeek, but other open source AI models. With models like Gemini, ChatGPT, GPT, Grok, and Anthropic, they have the benefit of using huge sums of money in the latest and greatest graphics cards for their compute. DeepSeek, on the other hand, is a Chinese model, meaning that they don't have the access to, well, the latest and greatest GPUs because of different trade restrictions with the newest GPUs. So the question is, how did they become such a huge competitor catching up to ChatGPT 5 as well as Gemini 3 Pro? Well, the question is answered by how they go about doing things, which makes DeepSeek a scary good model because what they did is instead of using huge compute, like these other models do, they redid their architecture of how an AI is even done. They developed the DSA, which is the DeepSeek Sparse Attention Architecture, which totally changed the game. The DSA model, DeepSeek Sparse Attention model, uses tokens in a kind of revolutionary way. So let's say you have a 128K token, which is a model that can take in about 128 tokens worth of information. Instead of using each token as just one token, what if you count each token differently? Instead of having each word in a book mean the same thing, you can have different weights so that certain words, maybe certain sections, certain chapters mean a little bit more than other story or other chapters in other words in a story and they can summarize the less important words and then it could then use a summary as the tokens instead of the full list for the tokens. Think about like this, you have a dollar bill and then you have a quarter nickel and a dime. The most important information would be a dollar and the less information would be like nickels, the pennies and the dimes so that you're not spending a dollar for every single item. You can break that dollar down into little bits and pieces of change in order to buy whatever you want. Same thing has happened with the deep seek sparse attention, the DSA, because what these bigger models are doing are using these latest and greatest graphics cards to train their model before the model is released. It's called pre-training. And then are also doing post training to train the model even more on the latest graphics cards, which China doesn't have access to, or at least not a lot. And so this DSA model is what they used. So now it caught up to ChatGPT as well as Gemini, which are two recent models that came out. This even cut the model time in half so that this even cut the expense to train these models down to even make DeepSeek even cheaper. And it's competitive when it comes to agentic use cases as well as just generalized model interactions as you saw with the chart earlier. This is a huge update and this could be a huge push with other AI models, especially open source ones that aren't held behind paywalls like ChatGPT, Gemini, or Anthropics models. But tell me what you think about this new update. Do you think this is good news or do you think DeepSeek is barely catching up and these other models are taking lead? If you want to keep up the latest and greatest AI news, you should definitely like and subscribe. With that being said, your boy Dex9 Dexter out.